All right, we're here at the uh, Ontario Pet Show. Uh, we're about to go over to pick up our load, but we're gonna get some uh, some fuel. We'll get some fuel first, and then head on over there to uh, get loaded to go back out to Georgia. All right, let me get this done, and uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, just uh, put a little bit of fuel in. Don't want to put too much in. Just enough to pay for our IFTA taxes and get us out of uh, California. All right, let's go pick up our load. All right, we're here to pick up. We're gonna back it into the door here. Looks like we're gonna... Uh... All right, I'm getting the decking and all that. I already got to... I think I need one more bar. Yeah, I need a total of 20 pieces there for the bars. But it looks like we're taking chairs out to Georgia. All right, I bought uh, four pieces of plywood after our last to the wrist, so those are still on the uh, the box. And uh, they said they're gonna need all uh, full decking, so that's uh, 12 pieces. The rest of this plywood out of here. <laughs> All the equipment that they want. We may have to get some more straps, but that's fine. We got them underneath. All right, they're using up the uh, decking stuff here.
Ay, como que si los compro. Alright, we're all loaded. They didn't use the extra four pieces they said I needed to have from to load this. <laughs> and they didn't use all my bars either, which is okay. It's better to have more than you needed. But uh, would have definitely rather bought this uh, plywood somewhere else other than, than California. All right, let's get down the road and get out to Georgia. All right, we're uh, about to Flagstaff. Gonna get us some uh, fuel here. Well, watch our uh, advertisements. Let's see here, where we at? 555 and 910. Uh, it was uh, showing the uh, the weather a little earlier. I don't know if we'll do it again or not. For stopping by, give us a look at your five-day forecast. That's not bad. Nice little weather report. Um, the one before this actually showed uh, the temperature by the hour. So I showed that was current temperature was like 58 degrees, and uh, what the uh, what the high was. Let's see if it does it again or not. Look at your weather today. There we go. <laughs> weather forecast, what you feel? Kind of like that. Thanks for stopping by. Give us a look at your five-day forecast. truck stop just before you get into uh, Texas here in New Mexico it's the uh, Phillips 66 an amp best truck stop um, this is probably one of the most unique truck stops because they actually have a uh, car collection slash eh, legitimate museum uh, collectibles and uh, whatnot so uh, it's unique for that that reason and I like it because you can see a lot of the um, not just like the 60s muscle cars but stuff you know from the turn of the century you know the 1910s 1920s so it's unique for that and I do have a, a really really good restaurant here so let's go check out their uh, museum Toys and uh, my boy's Tim's current toys that <laughs> I passed down to him.
Not bad, are you? Oh, I mean, fixing the electrical, huh? Yeah, I got a front of. Which one? Here, scrub those windshields, and uh, we'll get out towards uh, probably a little rock and gravel stop tonight and rest there. So, let me get this done, and we'll talk to y'all a little bit later. All right, we got our fuel tanks topped off. Yay, under five bucks. 
All right, we're in Georgia, just inside the state line at uh, mile marker 19 on the 20. Getting a uh, fuel, and then we uh, will park here. All right, topped off our tanks. Ooh, look at that. All right, we're here at our uh, delivery. Doesn't look like anybody's here quite yet. Some construction going on over here for a nice new building of some type. So we got our belly boxes open so we can put all our uh, gear away um, when they start unloading it. So it's a little past 7.30. The appointment's for uh, 8 o'clock. So I already got it um, open. So as soon as they start getting them chairs off and breaking down the decking, I'll start putting it uh, back in the uh, belly box here. So now we uh, do our normal routine of hurry up and wait. So they finally showed up uh, about uh, 840 so this is not the building it's going to it's going to another building um i think she said a mile away half a mile something like that so they'll load them into this little small box truck off of my truck and then they'll take them there unload them come back up and load more so we'll see how long this takes them So they got their first load. Let's see how many, how many trips it. So they left some of their equipment on my trailer, so I get more chairs on. So let's see how long it takes them to uh, accomplish this task. So this is the reason why uh, they use so many blankets. Um, if they actually put the decking up high enough, which they do have room to do there's still a good probably two foot there um not having to worry about it bouncing and hitting anything so they definitely like to overuse their blankets at this place where uh we got loaded all right they're back to load again We're finally empty. I still gotta put all this gear away. The uh, crew that was doing the unloading just started shoving stuff underneath my trailer. So I fixed quite a bit of it. Um, you can see we're empty now. So I'll have to finish rearranging as uh, they didn't pay attention. I told them plywood and bars on the right side. So that's where they go but they decided that uh, they knew better I wanted them on this side where they don't go so I'll have to fix this their uh, rush to leave antics and uh, we're gonna plywood and bars away all right we got everything nice and cleaned up give uh, Joe a call see where we're going for our next load um, I think we'll probably end up loading tomorrow because we expected this one to take pretty much all day, which it's a little past noon now. Um, they did uh, rush through it, but um, that's because they showed up uh, basically an hour late. And they kind of took advantage of the customer, in my opinion, but it's her money that she's spending for... Uh, whoever is uh, 
sign that checks for her. So, be as it may. Uh, let me give Joe a call and we'll see where we're going, but uh, this one is uh, done and over with.